Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Jody Anderson Duquette with Work Camper News. And if you're not familiar with us, we have been helping great people find great jobs in great places since 1987. And today we're going to be learning about many opportunities uh, provided by Delaware North Parks and Resorts at the Yellowstone General Stores operations. So we're going to learn about living and work camping in Yellowstone, one of many RVers bucket list items. So today we have online with us, we have Chris and Kayla from Delaware North. They're going to go through a presentation giving you uh, quite a few details about uh, the, their opportunities that they have for work campers. Uh, then we'll move into a Q&A section. So those of you who are on the live webinar with us, please feel free to type in your questions at any time. If you're on a desktop or laptop computer, you should have a control panel on your screen. And in that panel should be a chat or question section where you can type in if you're on a smartphone or tablet, you should have that questions option at the bottom of your screen that you can tap on, uh, type in whatever questions you want, and then tap back to the presentation. We are recording this webinar today. Everyone who registered, we will send you an email with a link to the recording. And please feel free to you know, forward that to a couple of your work camping, work camping friends that you think may also enjoy work camping in Yellowstone, and you guys can all enjoy it together for a summer. So, all right, I think that's all the housekeeping we need to take care of, uh, but I'm really excited today to learn all about work camping in Yellowstone with Delaware North Parks and Resorts. So, Chris, Kayla, thank you guys so much for being here and for sharing all of the great details. Great. Thanks so much, Jody. Uh, hi, my name is Chris, uh, stock manager here at Delaware North slash uh, Yellowstone General Stores. And Kayla, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Kayla Clark. I am a, a senior recruiter uh, that works remotely with our um, Yellowstone team, um, and I'm all the way on the East Coast. So uh, excited to uh, get everything all set for you guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the you know the main reason for this uh, podcast is to get you more familiar with what we do out here in Yellowstone and how you could be a great fit and you know spend the summer here. Uh, so we have a nice little video for you, and we'll go to that right now. And then at the end of the day, at the end of the meeting, uh, we have a you know a Q and A. So feel free to you know jot down any you know any questions you may have, and we'll definitely be uh, happy to answer them as much as we can. And here we go. This is the moment, Jody, to see if it works or not. Yes, sir. It worked before, so hopefully it'll work again. All right, looks like it's getting ready to load for us. It's sure thinking hard about it. <laughs> the anticipation. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it wasn't this slow last time. I'm not sure. Everyone's buying gifts online, so, you know, Oh, is it killing your internet? Yeah. Everyone's Amazon shopping. <laughs> is there any other kind of play button or anything that's showing up for you, Chris? Uh, nothing. It's just a the it's dark, a black, screen. the dark, the screen of death. Yep. <laughs> In the sherry oh. section of the control panel, is there? Anything showing above that drop down menu? Uh, no, nothing. Okay. You need to re redo it, maybe see. If yeah, you know. maybe. Okay. All right, then. Okay, we're back to PowerPoint. Of course, this worked well in practice. <laughs> and then. And last time. Mm hmm. Let's see here.
Everything's great. The hot springs are great. The geysers are cool. But the mountains, the mountains just stand out to me. That looks so exciting. And I, I saw some uh, international people talking about how they love working in the country. And then they interviewed somebody my age who said, I love working for Yellowstone General Stores because I get to work with people from all over the world. I was like, that's where I want to work. Living right here on the Geyser Basin, obviously geysers are quite a passion of mine. It's great living somewhere where I, I'm woken up, not by sirens, but by beehive in the middle of the night. So that's awesome. I think that canyon would be my favorite spot so far in the park. It's just breathtaking. It takes us like 10 minutes to get there. So sometimes we just go there on our breaks, which is great. Grand Prismatic. Grand, the Grand Prismatic. That is, without a doubt, breathtaking and awe-inspiring, you know. Actually, I love Canyon, the best one, because we can like hike to different places like the Upper Fall and the Lower Fall, and there are so many trails we can hike. And the Canyon is very gorgeous, but yeah. I just keep coming here for the hiking, the nature, and most of them is for the people I know right here. You're going to meet people from everywhere, different countries, different states who've all been through different things, so you'll hear different cool stories. And I like the dorm, like it's clean and we have a roommate, but not so many roommates, yeah. I like our RV site. Yeah. <laughs> yes, site's that's, really good. that's worth the commitment. <laughs> and in this particular campground, as you can see, we have room between us. So we have our privacy, we have our quiet. By all means, you can bring your pets with you, living here in the RV park. I'm amassing this amazing photography collection of all the, we just saw baby bighorns the other day, which was crazy. Last night we saw a grizzly and a cub. It, it, it's just, it's never ending amazement. Um, if you like to the nature, and you definitely have to come to Yellowstone because you can see so many beautiful things just by walking maybe five minutes. Oh gosh, well I love both Lamar and Hayden Valleys. You know, just first, they're just so beautiful and expansive. And you know, the views are fabulous. Three years ago, my sister came here and also she was a cashier working in Canyon Village. And she told me a lot of things about Yellowstone and that made me really uh, want to come here. And then like uh, three years later, like my classmate also want to like uh, get a work in USA and so we decided to come to Yellowstone to work together and I think that's a very great decision we made, yeah. Right, whenever I'm telling people if I'm trying to get them interested, one of the, one of the tr questions I'll ask them, how would you like me to pay you to live and work in Yellowstone? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and a lot of people were like, oh, so you're volunteers. I'm like, no, this is an actual job. It's five days a week. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. an actual job. It's a paid position but it's nothing like any job I've ever had in my life. It's not a job. We get to play and live in Yellowstone and get paid. <laughs> I love it. Like everything is like well organized. Yeah, we like hang out a lot. There's always like a bunch of us like hiking together. Just there's such a diversity since there's so many people working here. You have an opportunity to meet a great diversity of people from all over the world. And uh, so a community definitely builds there. And if you're just walking around the geyser basin, sitting and waiting for a geyser, it's amazing how many people you, you get to meet just doing that. It's a great place to, to just have a break from your life and enjoy something different. Um, and just be prepared to work hard, but to have lots of fun while working and on your days off. Work hard, play hard, and that's what we do. Always good every time. <laughs> you need to train. I think it's in the works to make it a new one. I think uh, later this year. It's great. All right, back into it. Uh, okay, seeing everything there, Jody. Now. Yes, sir. Okay, so. Uh, why work in Yellowstone? Well, you know, looking at the screen right here, uh, this is, you know, kind of 
uh, certain photos of uh, in and around Yellowstone. Uh, on the upper left, uh, we have the mini canyon of Yellowstone, uh, not as dramatic as the Grand Canyon, but still awe-inspiring. And these are some of the animals uh, you run across uh, from time to time. You got some black bears there, you got a bison, a uh, gray wolf, and then again, you got you know you got the geysers, you know, which are probably around 30 or 40 around the park. And then you know, there's a lot of hiking to do as well. So and then you know, basically you end up, you know, waking up and going to sleep in Yellowstone every day for you know for the summer and so what i do now is i uh, just kind of go through you know the company Ye you know yellowstone general stores uh that we operate here inside the park a bit about our associates and how how you can live work and play here and then at the end you know how how do you apply and uh, get through the the interview process so and kalo would you like to jump in on, on the company and the vision? Sure, I can uh, do that for you. Um, so uh, Delaware North is a global, global leader in hospitality and food service. And as you can see um, on this slide, we operate in the lodging, uh, sporting, uh, airport and gaming and entertainment industries. Um, we have a variety of different uh, subsidiaries that provide different industry services. Um, and here at Yellowstone, we are part of the Parks and Resort subsidiary. Um, in addition to Yellowstone, Delaware North provides our recreational guest services in uh, some of the most beautiful areas in the country, and including Sequoia, um, Kings Canyon, uh, Grand Canyon National Park, Shenandoah National Park, um, Kennedy Space Center, Niagara Falls, um, and we have um, other lodges and uh, things on the East Coast. Um, so it's a, a huge company and um, here at Yellowstone, um, it's just one of our um, parks and resorts locations. Thanks, Gannon. All right, so what do we do, you know, kind of the basics, what do we do in Yellowstone? Uh, we have a contract with the National Park Service uh, to operate 11 general stores around inside Yellowstone. And as far as, you know, each store is kind of unique into itself. Some are small, some are remote, uh, some are definitely busier than others, you know, such as Old Faithful and Canyon. Uh, but you have, you know, people, you know, employees who come back on a yearly basis and they, they fall in love with a particular site and a particular store and you know again it's you know whatever you enjoy you know as far as kind of scenery goes and type of kind of you know type of store you want to work at we have and then as far as uh, the stores themselves uh they're you, you know basically unique kind of general stores so they you know you go inside all the visitors and guests come inside they have, you know, you have a, on the retail side, an array of gifts, apparel, uh, groceries, sundries, you know, camping supplies you need, uh, you know, kind of local jewelry. And then, when, you know, each store has a food service. So that's a food service being uh, kind of a fountain area or a diner per se, where they can serve, you know, a variety of, you know, hot dogs and hamburgers, grilled cheese sandwiches, salads, uh, anything to, you know, get your, your your energy up from hiking around uh, Yellowstone uh, during the course of the day. And then as far as the individuals, you know, what we're looking for here, uh, why, you know, why Yellowstone and the, the timeline? Uh, right now, Yellowstone is closed. Uh, it's closed uh, because of snow. So only thing which gets through Yellowstone in the winter and early spring is a snowmobile or a you know a big kind of snow truck uh, but you know we're looking for individuals that can come here typically in the early early part of you know kind of late part of the spring april through october and the longer you can stay here uh the better chance you can have uh of you know landing you know a, a job of your dreams 
And typically we look at a minimum of you know two months but as you know but if you can stay longer uh, that's much preferred and you know a great way to get to the top of the list uh, that Kira and I are looking at as far as uh, qualifying uh, candidates uh, you know our team itself uh, is you know definitely a very hard working enthusiastic diverse group uh, around you know with all types of backgrounds uh, but they you know they share a common goal of providing exceptional you know guest services uh, you know who works here uh, we have retirees you know, obviously work campers uh, college students both within the U.S. and J1s which are international students and you know combined with individuals just you know, enjoying life and you know traveling you know, around the country and you know uh, finding a particular job that would they have a passion for uh, you know Yellowstone itself if you haven't been you know we get between four and five million visitors a year and it sometimes it feels like four and five million visitors actually go inside our stores as well so you know it's definitely fast paced you know uh, stores are very busy but you know, at the end of the day, you can you know bring home you know amazing memories, and and again, you get to wake up and uh, you know kind of fall asleep inside one of the most beautiful beautiful kind of national parks in the world. And so, you know, going on to kind of how you live here, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the audience I'm talking to right now is you know has an RV or a camper of sorts, and we also have dormitories, but you know, most of the RV sites that we have are within walking distance to the store, uh, maybe, you know, not more than half a mile away. Uh, you know, sites are, you know, are assigned by management and, you know, based on kind of your specs of your RV. Uh, RV sites, you know, we can accommodate close to 50 feet long, depending on the overhangs. And, you know, I was, and at this time, uh, the National Park Service doesn't really allow any tiny homes or, or such similar to that within the RV parks. Uh, you know, the RV parks themselves, they're not fancy, uh, you know, a lot of gravel and dirt, uh, you know, but definitely it fits in, you know, with kind of the surroundings of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, what's good to know is uh, as far as the RV sites go as on the screen there, uh, typically, it's $75 per week per site. There's the, that $75 is uh, taken out of your, pay, your weekly paycheck. And, uh, you know, as far as hookups go, uh, that covers water, sewage, and electrical. And that's uh, all included in the $75. Uh, the dorms, if you so choose, are $30. $30 a week and meal plans are $75 a week. That is uh, three meals a day, lunch, breakfast, dinner, and you know, again, $75 a week. And you know, basically, you know, you can choose less or you can you know choose uh, that meal plan. Uh, another meal plan available instead of the seven, you know, seven days a week is just having a lunch, uh, you know, seven days a week. And that's uh, again thirty dollars and taken out of your pay on a weekly basis. Uh, and you know those are the pictures of you know the typical sites you see uh, above. You know, you know again you're inside a national park, so uh, you know we you know definitely don't leave any containers out uh, just because there is you know kind of lots of bears and. Uh, you know bison and all types of other things which would love to you know have some some of your food uh and the dorm room below is typical of what you would see uh you know usually two twin beds and you have a, a shared shower um as far as technology goes uh technology we sometimes have it here in yellowstone sometimes we don't uh it's definitely hit and miss. Uh, it's a very rural area, uh, so you know you will have you know spotty internet at times. You know, streaming 24 by 7 is unless you have a Starlink, uh, it, it probably will not happen. Uh, you know, as far as you know, our dorms and within our stores, we do have internet capabilities, but again, it's very limited. Uh, Verizon is probably the be the better of 
all the cell providers, uh, you know, and just use kind of hotspots whenever necessary. Uh, but you know, again, it is spotty depending on your location, and you could have down downtime, you know, at any point in the park. Uh, and then you know, there's a few payphones around; those still exist, uh, and I haven't seen one or used one lately, but they are around uh, at some of the major sites. Again, go back to satellite. Uh, definitely the preferred uh, Starlink is probably the best choice at this time. And you know, that just definitely makes, makes your life easier if you are in a remote location of the park. Uh, mail, we do get mail. Uh, uh, we will deliver it. Uh, you know, it will come to our site here within uh, West Yellowstone, uh, where our um, kind of corporate offices is. And that will be delivered to you on a daily basis as well as packages too. Um, then as far as your know, groceries go, uh, they are, we have the basics within the park. You've got, you know, some of the, our retail stores and there's a few other stores that you could get some groceries or go to a restaurant, but your, your main grocery needs, if you needed to kind of do a big stock up, uh, you know, at uh, Walmart or Costco or a grocery store or go to a pharmacy, uh, those would be an, basically a drive, probably an hour, hour and a half uh, to a border town, a border city, which is, you know, West Yellowstone, Cody, which is in Wyoming, Bozeman, Montana, and then uh, Jackson Hole, uh, Jackson, Wyoming. Uh, and then as pharmacies, pharmacies in the same way, definitely the best way is to you know, get your medications through mail order. And if not, you know, a trip to Bozeman or Cody or again, Jackson, depending on where you are located, uh, is the best option for you. And fuel, uh, we do have, you know, fuel services around the park. And depending where you are, whether it be, whether your need is diesel or propane uh, or just regular gas, you know, they're at various locations. Uh, but definitely within driving distance. So, you know, everything's probably within an hour uh, of where you probably would be. Um, and then I think anything else, I think we're good there. Um, Can you Marigas touch on the healthcare clinic cost, Chris? Sure. Yeah, sure. As far as, sorry, I missed that. Uh, mm -hmm. So the National Park Service uh, requires everyone who works within uh, Yellowstone to have a kind of seasonal health program. And the program costs approximately, this might be changing, but not by much, uh, around uh, $7.80 a week. And that will again be deducted from your paycheck. And again, it's not true, a true insurance per se, but it, uh, you know, it does provide kind of your basic uh, kind of clinical needs. Uh, and they have you know, kind of three part clinics uh, within you know within the, uh, Yellowstone itself, and again you know Yellowstone's fairly remote, or I wouldn't say fairly remote, it is remote, and you know as far as kind of your basic kind of medical and service services that those clinic clinics use or provide, uh, you will need to kind of make a trip out there to uh, you know to one of the the cities such as Cody, Jackson, uh, Idaho Falls, or Bozeman and you know if you have a hospital need or you know something that needs something beyond the basic care you'll need to make that trip to one of those uh, particular cities. Um, and let's see, have I missed? I think I touched on everything. And let's see if I can go to the next slide. And then working at Yellowstone. So we have again we have eleven stores. Uh, you know in a variety of areas there, you know, all different sizes. Uh, but, you know, as far as, you know, what our uniforms look like and what we require, it's you know, definitely very casual. You know, we look to have every, you know, all the associates that uh, we hire to, you know, come in blue jeans, uh, definitely not torn or worn, but, you know, in good condition. And, you know, you know wearing kind of neutral color, you know, shoe but that covers your entire foot. Uh, again, uh, you know, kind of, you're going to be on your feet a lot, so definitely something more comfortable, uh, you know, to you know, kind of you know, stand and walk around uh, for the duration of your shift. Um, again, we, we're very, you know, conservative, 
in appearance as well. So, you know, definitely limit limit the earrings and piercings uh, just based on kind of uh, what uh, Data Wide North and the National Park Service requires. Uh, store services, uh, we're open to guests, you know, seven days a week. Uh, each store, uh, you know, opens at uh, different, slightly different times and closes at different times, uh, but not too much. You know, we definitely don't stay open, you know, you know, to midnight or so. Uh, typically, we do close down between uh, sunset and around you know nine nine o'clock or so, but no later than that, and open around uh, nine o'clock as well. Uh, as far as you know, what your work week would look like, you know, we look for everyone to have a work week of between thirty two and forty hours a week, uh, and you know, working with your store manager. Uh, you you definitely can have you know two days off in a row, you know kind of if you desire, uh, and you know again schedules are you know, and days off are set by each individual store manager. So definitely be you know in conversation with your store manager to you know kind of you know if you need it you know a particular day off, uh, they definitely can work with you with that. Um, as far as spouses, uh, friends, and companion. Uh, you know, we did, you know, if you're coming with a significant other or, you know, a companion or, you know, someone from fam your family, uh, definitely, you know, again, we can work with everyone to get the same days off to kind of experience Yellowstone, you know, in, you know, in a, in a good fashion where you can actually go out together and, you know, do a particular hike or, uh, you know, go, go, you can kind of view, view another part of Yellowstone or make a trip down to the Grand Tetons. Uh, our, our base wages for the seasonal role is, you know, typically starts at fifteen dollars. Uh, some of the positions do, uh, you know, have an increase, you know, kind of based on uh, if there is any uh, supervisory uh, roles or management roles or what or other such needs. Uh, and if, and as far as pay goes, uh, you are paid every Friday. We have. Again, you know what would be deducted is the the clinical costs on top of your your dorm or RV costs and uh, any any food uh, uh, food that you 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 feel uh, as far as the package goes uh, that would be deducted as well. And then one one positive though about living in Yellowstone, uh, you're working in within Wyoming and uh, all the stores are based in Wyoming, so uh, is, it is, uh, there is no state tax there. If you are working in West Yellowstone, uh, we're Montana-based, and you know, there is a state tax uh, that will be deducted uh, based on uh, uh, Montana's withholdings. Then, so next, uh, you know, what we have in our stores. So again, we have 11 stores, up and running around around the area, and you know each one is a different size. So we're looking for you know positions both on the retail side and the food service side. Uh, so you know on the retail side, they you could be you know, on the cashier side, you could be stocking. Uh, you in food service, you could be a server. On top of you know other needs such as uh, custodians, uh, you're always you're looking for you know cooks. Uh, both you know within our customer facing uh, diners or fountains and then we you know there's another area which is our employee dining uh, area that you know serves all the lunch breakfasts and dinners there and uh, we're also you know definitely looking for chefs kitchen assistants that you know will provide you know great meals uh, for all our associates uh, as far as uh, requirements for our, our jobs uh, you definitely we're looking for someone who's very flexible you know you know willingness to work and you know and give our guests you know the best experience possible uh, you know, again these are retail uh, positions primarily and uh, you know at times you you know you will be carrying between 30 and 50 pounds every once in a while and you know it very physical I wouldn't say very physical but definitely you know you will be bending you know you know and then you know, stooping, kneeling, and, and climbing, you know, kind of based on uh, the job that you're in. Uh, other jobs we do have, uh, 
uh, based in West Yellowstone, which is our corporate area. Uh, we have you know certain uh, warehouse uh, maintenance positions, uh, inventory positions that are outside of the park. Uh, we're based about 100 yards from from the entrance, but you know those will be based in West Yellowstone, and from time to time, we'll make you know, the drive to the particular store to assist on the maintenance or uh, inventory based on kind of the needs and your position. And as far as you know, what you know, our interview process is, uh, definitely you know, upon you know, being hired on the back end, uh, the, M the National Park Service requires all associates that are hired on our teams to pass a pre-employment background check and you know, make sure that you don't have any warrants or anything else that uh, that you know is not accepted per the MPS, and we, we can definitely kind of cover this a bit more. Or if there's a Q and A, uh, feel free to answer. You know, send in your questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, so so why you know why come to Yellowstone? I mean, I think everyone here, you know not only is here to you know kind of have a great you know kind of experience and work in our stores but you know yellowstone is one of the most beautiful places in the world and you know depending on uh what your passions are and what your hobbies are we have everything here especially if you know on the outdoors uh side uh you definitely you got some world you know we got thousands of miles of hiking trails uh you know you you can camp in remote areas uh there's wildlife all around uh, you know, definitely, you know, if you're into wildlife, there's some areas that are well known for grizzly bears and bison and gray wolves, and people always make the trek to these valleys to experience that. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know, there's, there's world class fishing here. Uh, fly fishing is all around. So if you're passionate about fly fishing, uh, there's some definitely some lakes and streams and rivers, uh, both within Wyoming and Montana. That have a great opportunity to catch a trout and have it for a lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Uh, then we have, as far as other services uh, associated with the park, uh, they have like a, a recreational program that is a free service to all park employees, and that offers trips around the park. Uh, you can go on hiking expeditions and backpack trips, as long as you're know, rafting and sporting events, talent shows, photo contests, et cetera. Again, you know, these are all posted in our stores as far as the, you know, what the itinerary is on a, on a weekly or monthly basis. So, you know, if you if you want more events uh, and more and get to kind of explore Yellowstone more, uh, the opportunity is there for you. Um, and also the MPS National Park Service definitely you know, creates some interpreter programs, uh, and it's called uh, Yellowstone Forever. And these programs, you know, include again camp campground presentations. You can go on ranger walks. You can have comes, you know, talks with the rangers. Or you can visit the visitor center museums, and generally, most of these are free of, free of charge. And so, you know, there's no reason to be bored in Yellowstone. You know, if you're you know, if you're outside or even inside, uh, you know, you're definitely, and you have a passion for the, you know, for Yellowstone and just uh, outdoors in general, uh, this is, you know, a fantastic place to be. Uh, so some of our ben benefits, uh, definitely, you know, as I mentioned, you know, the benefit is, you know, every day you, you wake up and you go to, go to sleep and, you know, and Yellowstone is there. Uh, you know, I, I I came to Yellowstone a couple of months ago, and I still can't believe I'm here. So yeah, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity, and it, you know, it's, it's an incredible place to be. And you've got, you know, one of the most beautiful national parks in the world, you know, kind of that you're living in, and it's you know 2.2 million, you know, kind of acres. So 2.2 million, uh, you can definitely get away from the crowds if you want very quickly. Uh, so you know, other benefits are. Uh, you know, within our stores, uh, we give a 30% discount on apparel and grocery items within all our stores. Uh, does does not include any alcohol or tobacco, batteries or camera equipment, but definitely your day-to-day -day necessities, uh, uh, you, you will get a discount. Uh, 
uh, other discounts uh, you know, we have during the course of the day or not of the uh, other discounts that we have uh, throughout the season are uh, kind of employee days where you, you know at a particular store or stores you will receive 50 percent off, off kind of certain items uh, then also you know we're a green company we do our best to uh, definitely recycle as much as we can and you know just based on where we are and just kind of what our you know, what our goals are within the company to can you know create a company as green as possible and then lastly uh, you know we have, you know, we have, we give everyone a completion bonus. So if you complete uh, your contract from uh, day one to till the end of the contract, uh, you will receive a bonus. This is typically uh, five dollars every forty dollars, forty hours worked, uh, with a cap of five hundred dollars, and that's paid out, uh, you know, on in on your last paycheck. All right, and then last but not least, uh, definitely, you know, why come work here? You know, not only are you you're working within Yellowstone, uh, you know, you're you're surrounded by all of the work campers that you have that you know or will get to know, and it becomes a great kind of experience that you, you know is a, will be a lost experience for you uh, throughout your lifetime, and you know you'll probably either meet some great friends. Uh, within you know within your camp area, within the stores, or just people passing through. Uh, you know, as far as all you know, applications go, uh, you know, definitely you know what we do is you know you submit an application, and then uh, we definitely you know initially conduct a phone interview. There might be two phone interviews to paste depending on your position, uh, but typically. You know, we can, you know, the process is uh, you know, we do a phone interview and, you know, based on your experience and your fit for the particular role, uh, we can get an offer out to you, uh, you know, very quickly. And, you know, throughout that time, we'll be corresponding with you, uh, kind of discussing, you know, what the next steps are, as well as in answering any questions that you may have before the check-in date. And check-in date is typically on a Monday uh, out here in West Yellowstone. So you arrive on the day that you agreed upon. And then uh, we would you know, basically do a kind of an orientation, uh, kind of an HR orientation where you fill out the necessary paperwork, you get uh, your portion of your uh, uniform and get to meet everyone here. And then from there, you, you, know, you go to your particular store and get settled in, meet the store manager, uh, get your RV RV site or all, all kind of like uh, ready to go for you know spending the summer season here. And as far as you know, again, as far as going back, as far as seasons go, uh, typically April, mid April through uh, mid December or mid October are our or when we are open. Uh, some stores close close earlier than others based on uh, kind of uh, the flow of traffic uh, within. Within Yellowstone, but also you know, based on uh, winter conditions coming in and in, any snow uh, that might kind of hamper uh, the store being open. And if you're interested, uh, definitely uh, you know, apply to that link that you see. And uh, definitely, we're interviewing right now. Uh, typically, we get close to 500 uh, positions that uh, we look to fill. You know, you know, based on all 11 stores and within our West Yellowstone, oh, sorry, yeah, West Yellowstone facility. And you have myself and Kayla's email there, addresses there. So any questions, feel free to reach out. But definitely, we have started interviewing right now. Uh, we're actively interviewing, both Kayla and I. And if you have, you know, if you want to spend a summer, this summer in 2024 in Yellowstone and have a a great experience and, and it have lost in memories uh definitely you know reach out and you know start the interview process thank you so much awesome great details chris um you definitely covered a lot there uh so attendees those of you who are online live with us uh, we're happy to go through some questions we can you know iterate stuff that was already talked about or things that we haven't talked about yet 
uh, you are attending on a desktop or laptop computer, you should have a GoToWebinar control panel with a chat or question section uh, that you can type into. If you're on a smartphone or tablet, you should have a questions option that you can tap on down at the bottom to then type in uh, what your questions have. I will uh, try to keep our questions on similar topics here um, as you guys are getting them submitted, so hopefully we're not jumping around too much, but uh, definitely uh, have a lot of things that we can cover here. So uh, first, Chris, let's uh, talk a little bit about RV sites again. Uh, so for the um, RV sites, uh, the weekly cost that was displayed, uh, if there are multiple folks in the RV, um, is it so was that RV cost per person? Was it per site? Um, how does that work? Uh, it is per site, yes. And cool. we prefer, you know, if you are, you know, being joined by someone uh, within the RV that they also be working. Uh, but that's, you know, definitely, you know, that's uh, not always, you know, that necessary. But within our dorm, if you are in a dorm situation, and you're coming with a partner or spouse, then and they're in the dorm area as well. Uh, they are re required to work. And right. You know, on top of that, you know, if, if there is like you know a companion or family member who wants to come visit you uh, and stay in the RV, you know, that won't be a problem. Cool. Okay. And um, so, is it possible for families to come on board? Like, perhaps it's a you know a household with two adults and uh, some kiddos on board. Uh, does that tend to work out well for your team? Uh, like the Brady Bunch of sorts, or Partridge Family. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. yeah. Going. Yeah, just going back in time a bit. Uh, definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I think, and I love. People that who work here uh, in past seasons have been families, or you know, their you know husband and wife team, or even you know even children. Uh, you know, you have to be over 18 uh, to have a you know, to have a job here. But definitely, it makes our you know it makes the experience for everyone better, and we get to know you, and you get to experience uh, Yellowstone and working in Yellowstone as a family. Cool. Very cool. Okay. And so just to iterate um, a little bit, you kind of mentioned it, but let's just be uh, super, a little more specific about it. Um, you guys can consider solo RVers for some of your locations, but it, there definitely is only a, a limited, um, limited options for uh, solos, whether that is one person in their RV or multiple people in the RV, but only one of the people in the household want to work for Delaware North. Correct. Yeah. So, you know, that will be conversation that, you know, you have with Kayla and myself and, you know, just, un, you know, just kind of stating what your travel situation is and we're kind of look, you know, each, each store has a variety of uh, availability for RV, uh, RVs. So mm -hmm. if, you know, if we're limited in one, one store, there are other stores that have, you know, a greater amount of RV sites. So you might have to gravitate towards that particular store if you were solo. And, sure. based, and again, it's you know definitely based on, you know, if you're interviewed and hired, you know, early in the season versus late in season as well. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. So there there are just a lot of factors at play, you guys. So um, you know, with specific questions like, oh, my RV is a certain length, or oh, I have, you know, an RV plus a trailer, or you know, some specifics like that. Um, that's the kind of stuff that you'll hammer out in your interview. Cause like Chris said, it depends on the the schedule and then and the need and what positions are still available and and all that kind of fun stuff. But um, Chris, in thinking about RV types, um, I, I believe it's National Park Service rules, but RVs need to be um, hard sided and uh, to to be allowed in the park, in the employee areas. Yes, uh, yeah, that's yeah. There's again, you know, some definitely hard sided is kind of required and mandated, and you know, we've got you know some opportunistic, uh, you know, black bears, grizzly bears, you know, velociraptors. T, you know, T Rexes, you know, roam in the park. So we need, yeah, definitely, you know, uh, 
there are times that you know bears get into uh you know particular areas where they shouldn't and if there's any food laying around or if it's you know soft covered uh you know rv or you know you know, whatever you're, you're living in uh they will find a way to get inside and usually it's you know it's not a good out outcome for losing all your food or worse so definitely hard side it is is you know required mm -hmm. yeah and then you're better equipped as well for handling the weather um you know because i i think things can be kind of interesting there weather wise it can still be a little chilly in the summertime i think right yes yes jody uh it's yeah the weather you know right now there's snow on the ground uh but come mid spring you know it will be gone away but we're at you know you know, West Yellowstone's at 7,000 feet, and you know, depending on where you are in the park, it can go up to eight or 9,000 feet. So, you know, it's mounting conditions. Uh, definitely wear layers here. I bring you know layers as far as you know uh, clothing goes, and you know you you know it can in the July or you know June, July, August, it can get up to the mid 80s, but typically it's kind of mid 70s, and it will drop being that. Uh, we're in kind of a mountain a region, so at night it definitely gets cooler, uh, probably down in the 40s. But you know, they, you know, there's no kind of uh, guarantee that there won't be any you know, thunderstorms, uh, as well as kind of snowstorms every every once in a while. Sure. Yeah. Got to be prepared. Okay, great. Uh, so for the camping areas, um, are the uh, campgrounds specific to Delaware North employees or are, is it also available to park guests? Um, those are specific to uh, park employees. Uh, yeah, we we uh, lease the grounds from a national park service and they're you know, for employees only, but there are, there are, you know, other kind of, uh, you know, public sites, you know, within kind of various regions. Sure. Okay. And are any of the camping sites um, dry camping sites where there are no utilities provided? Uh, as far as within. All of your guys is our full hookups. Yeah, all full hookups. So, uh, you know, what what other sites are i'm not sure about but within delaware north and uh ygs or yellow yellowstone general stores they're all for, for hookups cool okay and in the camping areas uh that you guys have are there uh any shower or bathroom facilities or laundry facilities uh there are laundry facilities within the dorm areas uh that you could you know you can use uh, there are comfort stations at uh, a couple of the of the uh, store areas. Uh, I think one is, yeah, I can get that information to you as far as the comfort areas. They, but there's, I think, at least two of those within uh, two of the two of our stores. Okay. Okay. Sure. All righty, and uh, let's see, just to iterate, um, what was the fee for the RV site again? Uh, $75, uh, again, including uh, water, electric, and sewer. Okay, and that's per week? Per week, yes. Okay, and if there are multiple people in the RV working for Delaware North, is the site fee then spread out between all of that household's paychecks or is it just taken out of one of the person's paychecks that's a good question um i'm guessing it would be just out one uh mm -hmm. i can get the answer for, with that for you okay i think that is the case i believe in the past that was the answer that it was just taken out of one but um you guys if that's a question that's important to you when you're you know doing your interview just be sure to make sure you get the answer to that question during your interview right okay um as far as the rv sites goes um can you tell us again kind of how close they are to the stores uh, will folks be able to walk ride bikes will they need to drive a car uh, what's what's the distance usually like just yeah i mean it depends again depends on the store but you know most are walking distance or you know kind of line of sight you can see them 
Uh, there's a few that, you know, are maybe half a mile or less away, and you know, you could have a nice walk in the, you know, you know, before your shift or after your sh and after your shift, or you know, definitely, you know, you know, ride a bike as well. And you know, there's one store, uh, Mammoth, that you are. Uh, we have a facility, RV facility outside of the park in Gardner, and then you need to kind of drive up every day for that. Okay, sure. But definitely, definitely all you know within a nice walk, uh, with you know to the store. Yeah, and when you were discussing the meal plan earlier, um, the employee dining rooms, those are in the stores. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, they all. Uh, contained within the store and you know they come in the back of you know back of the facility uh, so you have your own in dining area and the kitchen there that uh, all the food is made at and you you have you know lunch breakfast dinner typically you know you have uh, you know the the chef will put together a menu of a protein you have a salad bar and uh, usually a vegetarian option Awesome. Okay, very convenient having them there located in the stores. Uh, are there gluten-free, vegan, or vegetarian options with the meal plan? Uh, vegetarian, yes, we have a salad bar and they do their best to uh, have uh, a vegetarian option as well. Uh, if you did, did have kind of a dietary need, uh, we don't Catered to that, but definitely something that can, you know, you could have a conversation with, with, you know, with the chef or the cook on on duty at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, still kind of hanging out uh, back in our, you know, RV uh, site discussion here. Uh, for uh, do RVs have to be of a certain age? Like, do you guys have a, you know, RV must be newer than ten years or or anything like that? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, mm -hmm. I think definitely, you know, it has to be self-contained, uh, but and you know, in good work in order. But I, I, I haven't heard that there's a certain age. For yeah, that. yeah. You guys have never had any kind of qualification like that in the past. Um, so, yeah. uh, and it's all based on MPS kind of rules. So, but I haven't right. seen it myself yet. Right. Okay. And so uh, just to clarify, uh, folks are wondering if converted cargo trailers or converted vans would be allowed in the RV camping areas. Can you define converted? Yeah, I guess that would still be hard sighted um, as long as you would have, you know, the holding tanks, the capabilities to manage your food, you know, staying warm, staying cool, because that's really the bottom line uh, for the work campers there. You know, you guys need to be able to handle the different weather elements, be safe from the wildlife that are out there. And like Chris said, you know, there may be some comfort stations at the campground you're at, but not necessarily. So you need to be able to handle all of your human things, um, you know, in, in your RV. So uh, if you guys do, you know, you have made something cool and custom uh, that you're living and traveling in, again, just be sure to discuss things thoroughly, you know, with Chris and Kayla when you're going through that interview process. So so they can make sure that, you know, there there's no surprises. Right. Yeah. And definitely self-contained is kind of the key there. Uh, and yeah, the conversation you know would be great to have because you know there are situations that we're not aware of, and everyone's everyone's RV or camper is unique. Uh, so definitely have a conversation with us. And but yeah, I would say you know it's not just one or two days you're going to be here. You know so we, and you can manage that situation. Uh, you know you're going to be there for you know three four months. So just be ready for that. For sure, for sure. Yeah, good advice. Um, are the RV sites 50 amp or 30 amp or both? Yeah, both. Okay. Depending on, yes. Super, but okay. Have that conversation again with us to make sure that we're, you know, we're putting you in the right site. But I think most of our sites are now 50 amps so they can handle the 30. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome. Okay, wonderful. 
And the uh, cost for the RV site, is that fee deducted pre-tax? Um, good question. Uh, another question I need to get back to you on that okay. with. Okay, no worries. Okay. Um, and I guess that, you know, it goes for the other fees as well that we, we discussed before as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, let's keep trucking. You guys, you are submitting some great questions here. I know you're probably like, are we gonna move on to some of these other questions? And we are, I'm just trying to kind of stay, like I said, stay organized here. Uh, we will get into talking about shifts and schedules and hiring process and, and dorms and uh, yep, good questions you guys are, are bringing in here. So, okay, um, are there ATVs or UTVs allowed in the campground if the RVers bring in some toys with them? I need to check with the rules on uh, on the M on the YPS with with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know no. we looked up the we found the rules on the electric bikes, but yeah, <laughs> UTVs and ATVs that's a new category. Yeah, I mean I have seen. I I've never seen one myself, so I'm thinking not. But uh, you know I'm sure they have a rule and regulation for that particular uh, mm -hmm. category. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's probably it's just going to be motorized um, motorized toys. There might be some National Park Service um, you know guidelines about uh, bicycles, kayaks, things that are motorized. Um, I, they're probably more flexible on that kind of thing because it's not making noise, it's not creating gases or having oils and things. So, right. uh, yeah, more flexibility. And, yeah, and. Uh... You know, as far as kind of like individual, you know, all the different toys, uh, definitely I would say, you know, go to the, the you know, the, the National Park Services Yellowstone uh, website, and I'm sure they have everything covered there on, and would answer any of your questions. Totally, totally. Okay, uh, let's see. Are uh, work campers allowed to have dogs in their RVs? Uh, yes. I, there's a limit. I, uh, of two pets per RV. Sure. And of course, don't leave them outside um, unattended <laughs> ever. <laughs> no, yeah. If the you know the pet goes with you wherever you go, and it's always on a leash. And yeah, uh, if you're working, you know it, the pet needs to be inside your RV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. Uh, for like in a typical shift, will uh, folks be able to have breaks? So if they needed to, you know, go run and and let Fido out to have a potty break, um, do they have time for that? Uh, yes, I think there's a you know 30 minute lunch break, and you know you have a few uh, you know 15 minute or 10 minute breaks, I believe. Uh, but if you're too far away, you know, you know, create those relationships with you know some of your coworkers and colleagues, and you know you know, you know, have them kind of provide that for you and, you know, maybe, maybe you can do themselves a, them, them a phase, favor later. But so, yeah, I mean, we're, you know, definitely be prepared for that though. Uh, you, you, you are working, you know, eight hours. So, you know, I would say, you know, if Fido, you know, needs a break, uh, definitely kind of work with other team members that you know, or someone that you're with to kind of address that. Yeah, totally. That makes sense. Uh, do you know if work campers are allowed to have firearms in the park? I, you know, another, India? yeah, not, not another national park uh, kind of rule to to kind of look up there. I'm guessing not, but uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the stores, are there employee lockers for them to put, you know, their jackets, phones, et cetera? Uh, there's a few. Yeah, it depends on the store, but I have seen lockers at most of the stores, but don't quote me on every store. Okay. All right. And a couple quick questions here just about the dormitories. Uh, if the person is a solo can they have a dorm room to themselves? Uh, we do our best to to kind of honor that request, but 
it's not guaranteed. Uh, just, you know, it depends on how many people are in RVs for storms and, you know, kind of the, at, you know, what amount or percentage we are staffed during that particular time. Uh, so, you know, we can't guarantee that you won't have a, a dorm mate. Uh, but if you do, you know, we definitely try and, uh, you you know, put people together with the kind of the same, you know, same interests and same backgrounds. Sure, sure. Yeah, so, you know, maybe a 60-something a female would not necessarily be placed with a 20-year-old, you know, student from, you know, a different country and stuff, they'd probably have different, different hours and activities <laughs> that they would find amusing. Yes, that makes no, sense. We, yeah, no, definitely. We definitely do our best to, you know, kind of, you know, put people with like interests and, yeah. you know, those together. That sounds good. And a, a couple is wondering if there are any full or queen size bed options in the uh, dormitory housing. Good question. I know there's definitely, you know, we do have couples area, you know, couples uh, dorm rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, every dorm room I've been into is I have seen is two twin beds. So I, I'll, I'll get that answer for you on that one. Yeah, probably not as many, which makes sense. Okay. All right. Let's talk about. Um, okay. One more question about the meal plan. Um, is the meal plan optional? For our viewers, uh, definitely, yeah. You have a meal plan that the three meals a day, seven days a week is optional, and then you also have an option of having a lunch only as well. For I think it's thirty dollars a week, or you or you can opt for nothing. So, sure, okay. But if you're living in the dorms, you have to be on the meal plan. Is that correct? Yes, the full meal meal plan. Yes. Super. Okay. And then um, just real quick, uh, we you mentioned before the health clinics that are in the park and that there is a weekly fee per person um, for for uh, being able to go to the health clinics, the, the accessibility to the health clinics. If people already have their own health insurance, are they still required to have the health clinic fee taken out? Yes, that's part of uh, the con contract uh, uh, you, you know the National Park Service has with every concessionary uh, company inside the park so mm -hmm. it's meant for everyone okay super all right uh, let's see let's talk about shifts here uh, what shifts are available morning evening overnight uh, no overnight uh, definitely you know, depending on your role, I mean, you might be in the kitchen prepping for breakfast, so you might start earlier. So, you know, and, or, and you know, on the retail side, your store is open, you know, typically around, you know, be, between eight and nine o'clock. So uh, you might have a morning shift, but there are times that, you know, that you, you know, you might have a split shift. So there might be, you know, three hours, you know, in the morning, three hours in the afternoon, or early evening and then have a break in between. Uh, but the, you know, it all, again, it depends on the store and the coverage we have, as well as you know, having those conversations with, uh, you know, with the store manager and the leaders. Uh, just, you know, some people are, you know, like afternoon shifts, I mean, first morning shifts. So, you know, again, you know, work with your store manager on, on the, kind of the, on your needs and, you know, what you feel comfortable with. Okay, that makes sense. Um, are there any part-time positions available? Uh, no, sorry. Okay. Is it possible for two RVers to combine their efforts to equal one full-time position? Uh, no, again, sorry. Okay, alrighty, uh, let's see. Uh, thinking about like seasonality, um, is it possible to only work for three months? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, again, uh, what's preferred just because of all the training that we provide and the logistics and other efforts to hire people. 
uh, into the you know into our stores and within Yellowstone uh, have you know the longer that you can stay, the better chance you have of uh, of uh, you know having a position here and, and getting an offer from us. It's just that you know if you you know if you're coming here for two three months and starting in April and then you leave in August, then we've still got a two month window that uh, you know that kind of HR has to kind of backfill. So just you know just every you know what makes it easier for everyone and for the store manager and for all your colleagues is to you know to you know, be there for the duration uh, of the the time within the particular store that they're open and close on during the season. Sure, sure, that makes sense. So in the in the application, is there an, a section where they discuss like what their availability is? Like if, you know, if they just wanna work June or July or if they could come in just at the end of the season. So is, is there a spot for that in the application process? There is, yes. And definitely be as specific as possible or say you're open to, you know, any, any times you know that you know when we're reviewing app you know applications that's definitely an area that you know we highlight as well because uh, again you know the longer you can stay the the more preference it is for us to kind of move forward but yeah. but you know definitely you know definitely put something you know, in there again as detailed as, as possible and then if you know what store you you wish to be at uh you know Put that in and if you're traveling with anyone that's very helpful as well sure okay great and um, typically how many folks are rehired each year and how many total are hired each season good question i just you know looking at what i've seen i, I would say probably i would and you know again this is just me taking a quick glance at a spreadsheet probably around 200 150 are rehired every, mm -hmm. every year and awesome. you know, based on all our needs and you know some people only work in partial part part of the season i would say upwards of 500. awesome cool yeah a great community and you know like chris has kind of alluded to here and there there are other concessionaires operating in the national park so um you're not just living there with fellow Delaware North employees, you're also going to be, you know, possibly interacting with some of the workers for other concessionaire companies that are in the park. So um, you could really, you know, integrate into a diverse and great community. And um, it's, in my opinion, this is a good opportunity, especially for newer RVers or newer work campers, because you do have so many folks around you, you're more likely to, you know, find people, um, that you really enjoy being around and RVers in general are a very friendly bunch so if you do end up with RV issues or you know you're new to this work camping and you just want to hear from people who've been doing it longer and things like that you're you're going to have a lot of opportunity for that which is one of those intangible benefits that you get definitely all mm -hmm. right <laughs> thanks Chris um, okay, a couple of folks are wondering if they could change stores during the season. Uh, that's that's rare, uh, but sometimes you know there is a a need at one store, and that's something you know if you had, you had a you know if you were say a retail cashier and we were low in retail cashiers at another store, that there are sometimes options to go to that store, but uh, once once hired though and you know typically uh, you know beginning to end your ads uh, one store sure okay that makes sense uh, let's see as far as positions go um, are there any porter or maintenance positions or positions with strong for someone with strong construction or maintenance backgrounds uh, yes, we have in West Yellowstone where our kind of warehouses and where we operate from, uh, we do have a maintenance area as well as a inventory slash uh, warehouse. So if you're looking, you know, if you do have those skills, uh, whether it be a painter, uh, you know, maintenance uh, individual 
or electrical or anything else in between HVAC. Uh, you know, we do have those needs. Uh, they're not as plentiful as the store uh, positions, but we do have we do have those uh, that are posted, I believe, right now uh, on our website. Okay, super. All right, so any maintenance positions will be on the website. And uh, what about custodial positions? Are they listed uh, on the website? Yes, they are on the website. Uh, those are attached to each specific store. So uh, the custodians are, if you are working in an Old Faithful, then you know, we, you know, we might have a handful of custodial positions for that particular uh, store. Uh, and they they are posted as well. And you'll be instead of West Yellowstone, you'll be uh, you know camping you know outside of the you know outside of that store that you're hired into. Okay, and those positions are listed on the uh, website that you have up on the screen, ygsjobs.com or dn.careers/ygs. Correct. There, there's usually a general. Uh, uh, requisition or job position, which states for for uh, just a general uh, role, such as custodian, and it'd be custodial, you know, custodian uh, slash Yellowstone General Stores. So when you are, you know, putting your application and filling out the, uh, you know, the, the your needs and kind of the questionnaire, uh, just state what store you you wish to be attached to or just put open to any. Okay. Okay, great. All right, and a question here. Uh, do you have to apply? Do you have to apply first each one separately or can you just say I would do any of a number of positions and let you place us? Uh, yeah, at least I think what makes it easy for us is um, I, I myself would say apply to one position and then uh, in you know in the in the questionnaire put open to any position and when you have a you know when you have that conversation with us uh, definitely uh, you know kind of point that out say you're you're not only open to say a cashier position but you do stock in you do custodian you know you'll be a server. Uh, you know that and that would be a conversation that we can dig into when we you know have that you know when we talk to you sure right. yeah that makes sense Alrighty, and uh this couple says they filled out applications already but the application didn't ask for our experiences did they miss something i uh, no. uh we we set that up just to uh make it easier for everyone to apply uh that you know they definitely might be a point when we get in conversation with you uh, that you know we'll ask for you know your resume or you know you know go dig into your background a bit to see if you know what lines. Uh, but no, that you know that was that was something that we set up uh, you know basically uh, just to make the candidate experience easier. Sure. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Can I add a little bit to that? Um, so uh, you can add in your um, experience and upload your resume to your profile. You just have to log back in and um, and there are specific sections for it. But when you are applying, it doesn't require any of that. Um, so uh, you can go back in and do that if you choose, or we can uh, just kind of go over it when we reach out to you. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. And um, right now, you guys are already been inundated with quite a few hundreds of uh, applications. So, um, you know, it, would you recommend folks have a little bit of patience after you know submitting their resume, you or submitting their application? They probably won't hear from you the next day, right? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we do our best. Uh, you know, the, as you mentioned, there there's kind of a deluge of uh, you know people who would love to work here. And within Yellowstone, so uh, we definitely do our best to, you know, go through a candidate who submits a profile uh, within, you know, 72 hours or less, and you know, or maybe 40 hour, 48 hours or less, 
at least mm -hmm. to know your status that you can view on within uh, within your uh, web portal. Uh, but yeah, please have some patience. Uh, you know, there are you know several hundred uh, people who you know, do come through our system per season, and you know, we definitely want to give the candidate the best experience possible. And so, you know, we do our best to you know move at least you know address each applicant in a timely manner. Sure. Okay. And is there really a last day that they need to apply for summer 2024? Uh, not really, but there is, you know, we are, Kayla and I are going interviewing right now and we are placing people. So the quicker you confirm dates in you, for your summer availability and, you know, submit your application, then you have a better chance of you know of uh, have, you know working here with us. Yes, yeah. and um, if if you're if you wait um, uh, like to submit your application, um, not as many positions will be available, and you'll see that as you look at the uh, career site. Um, when we're filled with a position, we will uh, take it down, so uh, there might not be as many options. In, uh, in store locations. So if you're interested, uh, definitely go ahead and apply and um, we will get to you as soon as we can. Um, and then uh, and, and waiting can limit your options a little more. Sure, yep, totally makes sense. So for those who are definitely planner aheaders, uh, when can they apply for summer 2025? Uh, we usually open our pos uh, positions uh, November, like early November uh, of the, so the 2025 process would start in November of this, of 2024. So that's when, uh, you know, you, you can apply. Uh, I mean, that's probably the best way. I mean, if you have, you know, if you have any questions, you know, reach out to myself or Kayla uh between now and then and we can answer them but i think the standard process is to uh, apply every november the year before sure okay all righty and uh let's dig into kind of some other just random stuff here uh would you mind please repeating uh the wages and how wages are paid if it's check direct deposit and how often uh the starting wage is fifteen dollars. That can vary based on, you know, if you know, based on the position. If it's you know, you know, a need that is very critical for us and hard hard to fill, the the wage might go up. Or if you're in a lead supervisor management role as well, and the pay is it can be either be a hard copy or a hard check, or you can have to direct deposit. Uh, being that there's no no real you know banks around here, I would suggest a direct deposit on a week and it's paid on on a weekly basis. Awesome. Okay, super. And uh, what was again the year end bonus? Uh, that is uh, just a completion bonus. So if you you know fulfill your obligations and your time that you know that you agreed upon, it's uh, five dollars. Uh, every 40 hours and then it's capped at 500 and that's paid upon completion of your of, of the contract and or the season super okay and is it possible for uh work campers to get maybe a couple weeks off in the middle of the season to maybe run you know go home for an event or or do something personal uh that you know that definitely happens uh you know a, you know, there's kind of life gets in the way or you have life, you know, life plans as well. Um, so I think what I mentioned earlier was have that conversation uh, with the store manager uh, and, you know, kind of don't, you know, don't surprise anyone. And usually, you know, they can work with your schedule. You know, if, you know, if you're looking at taking, you know, a month off, I mean, that's another conversation to have with either myself or Kayla to see if that's, if that's possible. Sure. Okay. 
All right, and uh, let's see. Are jeans mandatory as opposed to perhaps lightweight black hiking pants? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, jeans are mandatory and, you know, blue jeans. Uh, you know, some of the supervisor roles do have khakis, but of the majority is blue jeans. Okay. Are employees allowed to have their cell phones on them while working? Uh, I'm sure you can have them, you know, while working, but, you know, definitely not using them while working. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't just sit and scroll through Facebook, but you probably wouldn't have necessarily enough signal to do so anyway, especially if it's a busy day. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there a fridge to use if we want to have a cold drink, for instance, a Coke? I assume at the store or the work location. Uh, yes, uh, you know that there. Are, I've I've seen employee uh, fridges around uh, the facilities, sure. and you know there is, you know, within the dining area, you know there is kind of a, a soda tap as well. Cool. Okay. And can uh, the work campers opt in and opt out of the meal plan as needed or as desired? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, do the RVers have to pay for their electricity or is it included with the site fee? It used to be, you know, a separate fee, but uh, this year they've included it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, this person says they have just moved to Wyoming. They are wondering if you have any locals who drive in from Cody. Uh, I have not seen any yet, but I, yeah, it's not saying there isn't. Yeah. I mean, you would entertain applicants if like, so do employees that work for Delaware North have to either be in an RV site or housing, or they could just be a local in a home somewhere else? That is a good question. I, I believe everyone has to be within a dorm or RV, uh, okay. but we are close to, you know, Cody and Gardner. So, uh, you know, there might be situations where, uh, you know, someone will reside there and drive up. Yeah. Okay. yeah I think that's pretty rare. Um, I, I think that'd be a conversation we'd have to have if that's the case and we could figure that out um, just off from last summer, I don't I don't remember if we had anyone that was local that would drive in. Sure. Okay. Um, and this one, you guys may have some information on this. You may not. Um, but what would be any differences um, if you know how would working for Delaware North be different than working for Zantera or one of the other concessionaires in the park? Can you repeat that one more time, please, Jeremy? So um, what would be, you know, the benefit or um, why would someone, why should someone go work for Delaware North versus one of the other concessionaires in the park like Zantera? But I don't know if you know the details of Zantera's program to even be able to compare and contrast. Right. Yeah, I have, you know, limited knowledge of other concessionaires. I mean, they're all running different facilities, uh, you know, some are wearing run in restaurants, some of run in hotels. Mm -hmm. We're running eleven general stores. Uh, but you know, as far as our you know what we you know what we try and instill is you know we're trying to give the guest and visitors you know the best experiences and memories possible. And you know from what I've seen, you know, definitely everyone within uh yeah some general stores is you know is like a family. So you know you work but you know, there's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of relationships being built, and a lot of friendships. Uh, you know, again, you know, and I think everyone's here in Yellowstone, you know, for a similar purpose. It's not only, you know, not primarily to work, but you know, to you know, explore Yellowstone and surrounding communities uh, with you know, like-minded people. Wonderful. You guys did it. Chris, Kayla, well done. You answered everybody's questions. Everybody yeah. now knows everything they've ever needed to know about working for Yellowstone General Stores. Well done. Yay. Thanks so much, Judy. <laughs>
Yeah, awesome. Well, you know, we sure appreciate um, Chris your your time and Kayla your time as well. Um, it's really great when employers like y'all take the time to give all the details of an opportunity to help that work camper make a better decision on if this would be a right opportunity for them or not. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, you've really developed such a great program um, here at Work Camper News. I've been working with the Delaware North team for, you know, over about 17, 18 years now. And I've had nothing but positive experiences um, with my interactions with Delaware North. And if the details that are laid out, you know, sound like a good match for you, I would I would not hesitate to encourage you guys to try out working for Yellowstone General Stores. I think it it's like you guys have said, it's it's kind of one of those, you know, really awesome experiences, very unique um, and in a beautiful place. I mean, we can't we can't just can't say it enough. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, so um, in closing, Jody, uh, we're going to be, uh, you know, Myself and a few of my colleagues will be at the Tampa Bay RV show in January. So if you want to drop by the booth, you know, drop by and say hello. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Yeah, what a what a wonderful um, RV show down there in Tampa. That's great. All right. Well, thanks everyone for listening in and everyone for sending in your questions. Uh, we really covered a lot of bases here. Uh, we have been recording this, and so we'll get the recording out. It'll be available on the Work Camper News YouTube channel. Uh, we also did this a few weeks ago back in November, and the recording from that one is also available. Uh, we answered some different questions during that Q&A. So if you you know, still feel like you want more, uh, go check out the recording from November as well. So uh, Chris, Kayla, anything else you guys want to throw out there today? Uh, no, I mean, if you want to, you know, if you have you know, a dream to be in Yellowstone and, you know, experience it and experience it, you know, every single day while, you know, kind of developing friendships and memories, you know, definitely, you know, apply as soon as possible. Yeah. All right. Kayla, any parting words? Putting you on the spot. Yeah, no, um, we, um, we're excited to uh, get everyone on board for Yellowstone next summer, and um, if you guys are interested, please apply. Uh, like we were saying earlier, please be patient with us with our, um, our load of applicants coming through, but we are getting to everyone, and any questions you have, please reach out. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again, you guys. We certainly appreciate y'all um, and everyone there at Delaware North. And uh, to all work campers out there, we wish you happy work camping. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.